All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you guys another video. So here today is going to be a tutorial showing you how to use the website pooltool.io. So if you're interested in learning about how to delegate to a stake pool or if you're a stake pool operator and if you want to learn how to navigate this website, all of that is going to be here in this video today. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Today is April 20th of 2020. I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day. What I wanted to start off with here in this video is a brief introduction to this website called pooltool.io. So this is a website brought to you by somebody from the community. This is from Stake Love. Ticker symbol is love, L-O-V-E. So big thank you to all the work that has been put into this website. This is a invaluable tool if you're interested in learning about how to delegate to a stake pool or if you're a stake pool operator and if you want to learn about the different metrics for various stake pools and uh, you know, being able to tell which uh, metrics and which stats are going to be able to rank you um, according to your performance. So to get things started here, I guess, We'll just go over a brief overview. So when you get to the main page, this is pooltool.io. I'm gonna leave a link for you guys down in the description below. But if we take a look, this is the home screen and we can see here there's a couple different tiles that we're taking a look at. So starting off here at the top left is staked and it shows the total number of ADA staked. Now this is going to be based on the total supply and this is currently on testnet. So that's something to keep in mind but I think that the information will remain relevant once we do transition over to mainnet. So that's something to keep in mind here. This shows you here the amount that is currently being staked. And then it shows you the number of active pools. It shows you the cumulative rewards that have been distributed uh, in terms of staking. And it shows you the current epoch. It shows you the amount of ADA that you will earn for each block within that epoch. It shows you the slot and it shows you the block height. Now, all of this information is updated in real time. So, you know, if you're a stake pool operator and if you're trying to figure out what is the block height, this is updated, you know, pretty much like right on as soon as there's a new block height, this is updated. Um, I'll have to refresh my screen here in order to get the latest block height, but you guys will be able to do that if you are using the website. Um, now, if we take a look here down at the bottom here, so we have this little search bar. And there is a way to actually uh, choose how to stake to a pool. So this website does have a brief tutorial as well. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you what I like to look for. Um, so you can search for your own particular stake pool, you know, if you have a favorite or if you wanted to search for your own stake pool. And then if we go down at the bottom here, it shows you the various stake pools and how they are sorted based on certain metrics. So if we take a look here, starting it from the left-hand side, it shows you the ticker symbol for the stake pool, and then is the pool name. The fixed fee, so this is going to be the amount of ADA that is charged uh, in terms of the total rewards for each epoch. So if the stake pool mines a block, and if there is rewards that are uh, awarded to the stake pool, before the delegates of that stake pool receive any type of rewards, the stake pool will take that fixed ADA fee before any of the rewards are distributed. Next is going to be the variable fee. The variable fee can be adjusted accordingly. This is going to be uh, set by the stake pool operator. This is going to be essentially a percentage of the total ADA rewards that the stake pool operator will charge for maintaining the network. Uh, max fee, so this is going to be if there is a limit to the total amount that can be charged for that uh, fixed ADA fee. Um, assigned performance, uh, you know, this is going to be based on the number of blocks that were assigned based on the number of blocks that were minted. Current ROS, so re uh, return on stake is going to be ROS. Current ROS is basically the percentage yield that the stake pool is generating based on the amount of ADA that's delegated. Block trend, so this is a nice little uh, graphic that we can see here, basically just a line graph showing what the trend has been in terms of the amount of blocks that are being mined. Blocks per epoch, that's next here, we can see BPE. Blocks per epoch, it's essentially an average number of the amount of blocks that are minted every epoch for that particular stake pool. 
epoch blocks percentage. So that's gonna be within that epoch, the percentage number of blocks. And then we can see here also epoch blocks kind of goes hand in hand with this. This is just showing you the number. This is showing you the percentage. Uh, block height. This is showing you in real time the block height of this particular stake pool. We can see that these are all on the same block height. Uh, live stake, this is gonna be the percentage of total amount staked that is being delegated to this stake pool. And then this shows you again here the actual ADA. So this shows you the percentage and this shows you the total number in ADA. Lifetime rewards shows you the number of total ADA that have been given out in rewards for this stake pool. Lifetime return on stake, this shows you the total return on investment if you are going to be delegating to the stake pool. Lifetime blocks, this shows you as a percentage and then you have the actual number lifetime blocks here at the very end. So quite a bit of information to look at here. I hope that did uh, explain things a little bit better so that you guys have a better understanding of what it is that you're looking for. So let's say for instance, now that we have this information, let's say for instance that you are an ADA holder and once we transition over to Shelly on the mainnet, we're gonna be able to start delegating our ADA to one of these stake pools. Now, what I like to look for in terms of being able to maximize your return on investment, let's say if you have a set number of ADA and you wanna try and maximize your rewards for delegating to a certain stake pool, there are a couple key metrics that I like to look for. Uh, namely, first off is gonna be the fixed fee. So let's say for instance, there's a stake pool that charges, like in this case, we can see IOHK charges a fixed fee of 258 ADA per epoch. So this is a very large number if you compare that to something like any of these other stake pools, which are typically charging zero ADA fees. Um, currently we're running on the test net uh, that could definitely change as we transition to mainnet. Uh, but that's something that you wanna keep in mind when it comes time to uh, choose a stake pool to delegate to. The other metric is gonna be the variable fee. We can see that the higher this variable fee, the lower return on stake is gonna be for most delegates. Um, and this is gonna be the fee that the stake pool charges for every epoch to be able to be online and maintain the network. So oftentimes the, this uh, reward is an incentive for the stake pool operators to remain online and you know pay for their hardware and their operational costs. Um, so those are a couple things that you wanna keep an eye on. The other thing is going to be how reliable is the stake pool? So you wanna make sure that the stake pool is minting blocks and that the stake pool is constantly uh, maintaining the network. Uh, if you see a stake pool is not minting blocks when it's been assigned, then you know for a fact that there's an issue with reliability for that stake pool. And again, that's definitely gonna affect your return on investment. Um, that is pretty much what I like to look for when it comes time to choosing a stake pool. Let's actually go ahead and look at an example. So I know we were talking about IOHK here, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna choose IOHK. Um, just a recommendation, I think that the reason that they put the fixed fee at 258 ADA is to encourage decentralization. So when it comes time to choose a stake pool, keep that in mind. Uh, that's something to look at when it comes time to choose a stake pool. So if we click on one of these ticker symbols here, this is gonna take you to the website. In this instance, they've got the incentivized testnet website pulled up. I'm gonna go back, we're gonna click on the ticker symbol, IOHK1, and that's gonna take us to the part of the website where you can see all the different metrics for this particular stake pool. Now in this instance, it shows us a lot here. We can see the live stake, the current stake, epoch blocks, lifetime blocks, lifetime return on stake, and then all this other metrics that we discussed earlier. Um, and then we can see here, this is gonna be a nice graphic giving you a visual of the performance over time. And these are some historical results. What I like to look for, let's say for instance, you're looking at a different stake pool and determining whether or not it's, it's gonna be in your best interest to delegate to them. What I like to look for here is when you look for historical results, these are the epochs. You wanna to check to see that they're consistently mining blocks. Now, the amount of blocks that are gonna be mined by a certain stake pool will vary depending on the amount of ADA that is delegated to a stake pool. Let's say in this instance, we've got over 100 million live stake that's currently delegated to the stake pool. 
So the number of blocks that are mined are going to be significantly higher than that of somebody who has maybe 1 million ADA or 10 million ADA. So that's, that's something that you want to look for. Delegator rewards, this is going to be showing you the total amount of rewards that the delegates have received for um, delegating to the stake pool. Pool taxes, every epoch, this is the amount of taxes that the stake pool collects for maintaining the network. And the return on stake is going to be relevant for delegators who are delegating their ADA. This is going to be the percentage amount of yield that you'll receive for the amount that you've delegated. So that's what I like to look for. Um, now again, guys, this is going to be specific to whichever stake pool that you are looking at. This is just for example purposes. Um, and then last thing I wanted to leave you guys with here, I know there's quite a bit of information on this website. If you click on the three lines at the top left, you'll see a little drop down and there are lots of different metrics that you're able to look at here. So we were looking at the home screen originally. You can click on explore pools, there's competitive forks, network health, live analysis, addresses. So you can actually see uh, on the incentivized testnet currently, you know, how these uh, ADA rewards are being distributed to people who do have wallets for the incentivized testnet. So there's lots of information here to look at. Um, for the person who's getting started, what I would look for again, guys, is those key metrics that I was talking about here at the beginning. Um, I think that if you can if you can sort through the different stake pools just based on those metrics, uh, you're going to have a much better understanding of what it is that you're looking for when it comes time to delegate to a stake pool. So that is going to be it for this video here today. I will be creating a series of tutorials going into further detail about what you want to look for as we progress through Shelly and you know once we do hit mainnet. I do think that some of these metrics will change, so I do want to keep you guys updated with all of that. If you guys did find some value from this video here today, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you did find some value, be sure to smash that like button as well. It definitely does help out the channel. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.